Hey everybody, in this video we're covering another new soundbar, this time from DVLA. Dion is DVLA's first ever Dolby Atmos soundbar. It's powered by more high-end drivers than most traditional soundbars, and it delivers an impressive 5.1.2 channels of Dolby Atmos from a completely standalone and sleek looking piece of audio equipment. It will also acoustically adapt its position when wall mounted for an optimal soundstage and a striking look. DVLA sent us a sample to test, so we'll cover its design, the coolest features, and finally, we'll give you our impression of how it sounds in various room sizes. If you have a room where space is limited, but you've been wanting to take advantage of all the cool Dolby Atmos content coming to movie and music streaming platforms, then you may not want to choose one until you watch this. Now, let's get into it. <music> Before we begin, you might have seen one of DVLA's Phantom loudspeakers. These are all-in-one, uniquely shaped speakers that put out sound, rivaling normal speakers 20 times their size, and they are packed with cool technology. DVLA is an acoustical engineering company headquartered in Paris, France. They've been designing some really cool high-performance audio gear, like Phantom, since 2007 that blend cutting-edge tech with luxury design, and this has made them pretty famous around the world. High-performance audio systems, for the most part, have never been welcomed by interior designers, but being based in the fashion capital of the world, DVLA is out to change this. They want to redefine the place of sound systems in modern homes to deliver an involving audio experience that is also a part of the home design process. And with their new Dolby Atmos soundbar, I think they may have accomplished exactly that. So let's go over the unique design. The first thing you will notice about DVLA's Dion is its patented central orb on top of the bar. It's curved just like a sphere, and it does have an important purpose that is as much about acoustics as it is the aesthetics. DVLA's proprietary sphere is actually the dedicated center channel speaker in this completely standalone Dolby Atmos 5.1.2 surround sound system. Curved like the speaker cabinets used in DVLA's ultra high-end phantoms, the proprietary central orb is based on similar acoustic design principle called the Olsen curve, which allows phantom speakers to not break or diffract the sound waves coming out of them. According to Divolé and Dion, the main idea behind the sphere is to spread voices and vocals into the central area of the room where listeners will be seated for a crystal clear mid-range reproduction on movies and TV shows. The other key function of this cool design is mechanical in nature. Dion's orb has the ability to rotate, and this allows Dion to ergonomically change its position, and the distinct central orb sphere will maintain a perfect front-facing orientation, giving you some options to incorporate it with your room's interior design. Now, Dion stands just three inches tall, or about three and a half inches tall with the special sphere. It spans 47 inches wide and has six and a half inches of depth across. If you do decide to use this in the default shelf mode, you could place Dion on a piece of furniture, like a traditional soundbar, and the very low profile cabinet will easily slide under most modern TVs for a nice, clean, discreet look. Visually, I think this will look great with TVs that are 55 inches or wider. Now, as a DVLA product, the build quality is what we would expect from a high-end brand. The bar weighs just shy of 26 and a half pounds, which speaks to the premium build and finishings. The cabinet is constructed with a dark gray anodized aluminum frame, and this is wrapped with carefully selected black acoustic fabrics for the grill cloth. At Audio Vice, the build quality reminds us of DVLA's luxury Phantom smart speakers, which are in a similar price category. The wall mounting brackets and all of the connections are tucked away on the bottom of the unit, rather on the back, which is where things get really interesting. If you use Dion's special wall mode, you could mount it to your wall for a really striking appearance, and the entire 5.1.2 Dolby Atmos presentation will acoustically adapt to this position. You just turn the central orb sphere until it swivels all the way, and this will rotate its center channel's directional dispersion pattern. The orientation of all the other speakers in the system interestingly also adapt Dion's audio signal to a special wall-mounted enhance mode using a built-in gyroscope that detects its position to optimize the output automatically with a new special DSP tech that relies on beamforming to present immersive sound. 
It's super cool. Since all the connections are tucked away on the back of the unit, Dion is very easy to wall mount. There is access to an ethernet port for connecting up to your network, a digital optical toss link input that will let you connect TVs that do not have the newer ARC or eARC connection, one HDMI eARC input that will let you access true Dolby Atmos without compression and a power connection. Now, Dion is the result of more than 100 patents to deliver a pretty impressive thinness to performance ratio from such a strikingly slim form factor. So let's quickly cover some of the most important tech Dion is packing. First, there's what Duvule calls their intelligence processor, and this also trickles down from their phantom line of smart loudspeakers. Essentially, this is Duvule's custom in-house audio system on a chip. As you might imagine, Processing multi-channel Dolby Atmos content requires a lot of processing power. Dion's chipset has its own DAC, or digital to analog converter, which is the same one that trickles down from DVLA's top of the line phantom speakers. This custom silicon combines DVLA's award-winning bespoke amplification and signal processing, which includes many of their other patented technologies, into a one square centimeter high performance chipset that minimizes noise and distortion to near zero. Now this next feature was developed exclusively for Dion, adaptive volume level technology is DVLA's dynamic level control that tailors the sound levels based on the content you're watching in real time. So if you're watching a movie with an explosive action scene that is coupled with quiet, hard to hear dialogue, DVLA's special dynamic tech will automatically raise the volume of the voices in the sound safe so you won't miss any details. Now this bar also uses a technology they call SPACE, which is DVLA's patented 3D algorithm, which upscales any non-Atmos source into a 5.1.2 Dolby Atmos signal for a more immersive experience. So on any audio coming from your favorite movie, TV show, music, or even video games, this will be pretty useful. If what you're watching isn't prime for Atmos, the fact that space is turned on by default is pretty cool. The vast majority of movies on streaming services are still offered in stereo or 5.1, so it will add the height channels, and this can also be disabled in the app. And I have to say, after testing it out, it did sound pretty good on just basic TV programming. Now let's get into the speaker tech. Behind the grill cloth, there are 17 autonomous custom DVLA speaker drivers that present room filling sound. Now, each speaker driver is made from an aluminum membrane with a high field neodymium magnet, and nine of these are full range aluminum drivers that deliver dynamic mid range and crystal clear treble for good top end extension that will go up to 21 kilohertz. When set up in Dion's default shelf mode, there are two custom designed DVLA full range aluminum Atmos speakers on top of the bar that fire the height channels upward for that top to bottom sense of elevation. But when you turn this 180 degrees to mount this to the wall, those Atmos height speakers become rededicated as the left and right channel speakers, and then the right and left channel speakers will become Atmos speakers. An internal gyroscope automatically detects the setup position and adjusts the audio signal for all the drivers accordingly. Now in terms of bass, Dion has eight neodymium high excursion long through woofers that reproduce deep 24 hertz bass. In smaller rooms, this impressive bass response could eliminate the need for a separate subwoofer. Maximizing impact and immersion in either position where space is limited. Now, Dion also supports wireless streaming over Bluetooth 5.0, AirPlay 2, Spotify Connect, and UPnP for high res music stored on external hard drives. With the DVLA app, there are also special sound enhancement modes that take full advantage of Dion's 17 speakers, including a movie mode, which converts any mono and stereo signal from Dion's HDMI or optical input into a 5.1 two multi-channel experience specially optimized for movies. Spatial mode, which upscales any music streamed over AirPlay 2, Bluetooth, Spotify Connect, and UPnP into an immersive 5.1.2 spatial audio track. There's voice mode, which boosts the accuracy and intelligibility of voices to sound their best on podcasts, news programs, and audiobooks, and a special music mode, which disables spatialization effects to more faithfully reproduce a stereo setup. Now that's a mouthful of text, so let's get into how all of this works and sounds next.
Dion is a totally self-contained system driven by 950 watts of total power using a custom-built power supply for a maximum loudness of 101 dB SPL. This is impressive considering the Dion's compactness, as this should provide more than enough power to completely fill a small to medium-sized living room or even a large master bedroom with clear sounding high quality Atmos sound. The room we tested Dion in was a typical medium-sized living room of about 12 feet in width, 16 feet deep, and nine foot tall ceilings. At AudioVice, we are big fans of room calibration and Dion's built-in calibration mics made this fairly straightforward using the companion app. We did have to scan our room a few times to get a good accurate reading at first, but after a few tries, there were noticeable improvements to the sound. The microphone button on top of the bar deactivates the room calibration microphones, and even though the microphones are only used when conducting a room calibration scan, it's nice to know that you have a physical way to disable them if you have privacy concerns. If you are lucky enough to have any of DVLA's other Phantom products, then you'll like to know that the app made it super easy to add them as other AirPlay 2 enabled speakers that you can control throughout your home. There is no remote control included, but this does narrow down the remotes at play and also means the engineers had to spend a lot of time developing more sophisticated ways to control the bar with the companion app. Now, our favorite way was DVLA's dedicated rechargeable remote control. It's the same remote that comes bundled with DVLA's Phantoms. It has a very smooth rotary dial that will let you precisely control the volume level with just a quick turn of its dial. And when you have multiple Phantoms and a Dion in different rooms covering your whole house with music, the rotary dial made it super easy to quickly raise or lower the volume of individual speakers on the fly. The DVLA remotes are sold separately, but once you use one, you really won't want to use anything else. For our first test, we used HBO Max to stream the new Batman movie in Dolby Atmos, which stars Robert Pattinson as the Batman. Voices and dialogue were presented very clearly overall. We never had to raise the volume to hear dialogue clearly in the sound stage. However, with our volume raised all the way up to the maximum level, we did not have a room filling soundstage with this movie as our source material. At first, I thought it was a rare issue affecting the sample DVLA provided, but as it turned out, the new Batman movie on HBO Max has a quieter than average Dolby Atmos mix overall. Unfortunately, none of this was Dion's fault, but this does go to show how important your Dolby Atmos source material is. At the time of demoing our sample, the Blu-ray version had not come out yet, so perhaps the Blu-ray disc will sound much better. If you do watch the Batman on Blu-ray, let us know what you think in the comments below. Our other video also covers all the best movie platforms, including Blu-ray, so be sure to check that out after you watch this if you wanna know how to get the best Dolby Atmos experience. Now, despite the movie's somewhat disappointing audio on HBO Max, Dion's deep bass still made up for the lack of proper Dolby Atmos mixing in some surprising ways. At about an hour and 10 minutes into the film, a bomb explodes, launching the Batman across the room. And then about 10 seconds later, there's a very deep low pass filter sound effect that cuts out all the higher frequencies to imitate the muffled sound of hearing loss. In this scene, the low end came alive with deep impactful bass that shook the walls as if a dedicated subwoofer was in the room. We demoed this scene with the volume max all the way to 100, so with a properly mixed Dolby Atmos movie, you will not normally have to raise the volume quite this loud to get this level of immersion. But it was cool knowing the built-in subs 24 hertz truly reproduced bottom end weight that was comparable to having a good compact subwoofer in the room. Now, if you want to check out a movie that is properly mixed in Dolby Atmos and really shows off Dion's built-in sub with the immersive Atmos effects, then you have to check out The Atom Project on Netflix. At about 35 minutes into the movie, there's a pretty cool fight scene with kicks, punches, and explosions that all have good slam and impact that really place this at the center of the action. But what impressed me the most was the clarity of voices, poking out in the presentation. With all of this action going on, at the same time fighting for space in the mix, the center channel orb presented clear dialogue without ever having to rely on special DSP to get voices more into focus. Having said that, if you still want a little more mid-range detail to stand out, Dion's 
Voice enhancement mode did a fantastic job of presenting dialogue even more clearly. However, this did tighten the overall presentation, so we think most people will use this mode for podcasts, news, sports, and other documentaries where there's a narrator. Now, at Expona 2022, the DVLA team was very excited to tell us about the Dolby Atmos content coming to Apple Plus. So, if you have an Apple TV 4K and are interested in some of the best sounding spatial audio and Dolby Atmos content available, you really owe it to yourself to have a look at what's streaming on Apple's movie service. At Axpona this year, the DVLA team was actually using the first season of Foundation to demonstrate Dion, which is a new science fiction series based on the novels by Isaac Asimov. It's set in the distant future, so the TV series is very rich in high quality sound effects and Dolby Atmos immersion from beginning to end, everything from Atmos special effects to voices to deep bass with impact and slam and even orchestral music and the soundtrack simply came to life with just Dion sitting in its default desktop orientation. Now, dialogue never sounded hissy nor harsh, but more like what you would expect sitting in a commercial movie theater, which is pretty surprising. We could even hear voices that were mixed to sound far away or distant in Dion's presentation clearly. Mid-range special effects like high-tech devices activating and metallic sound effects were also presented with rich sounding immersive detail. For example, if you fast forward to about 10 minutes into the second episode of the first season, season, you'll hear the sound of drilling inside subterranean caverns. As soon as the drills cut through the rocky terrain, we could even hear the sound of tiny rocky debris spraying up into the cavern above our heads and then falling back down on the ground like the experience of sleet falling from the sky. While Dion is not a replacement for a full-size home theater, for someone who wants to replace the sound coming out of their TV with something that will sound substantially better, I think Dion is impressive as a totally self-contained Dolby Atmos solution. The performance benefits you get from a dedicated subwoofer and surround speakers all around the room will always deliver better immersion compared to a totally self-contained solution like this. But in a small to medium sized room, this bar throws out fantastic sound quality with crystal clear mid-range and seriously impressive bass. Whether wall mounted or placed on a piece of furniture, Dion sounded Fantastic, but it was the special wall mounted mode that made our sample just look more like a work of art compared to the average run of the mill soundbar. Mounted to the wall makes this a really eye catching entertainment piece that lets people see how serious you are about sound and high end design. We felt the presentation coming out could go just a tad bit louder to really deliver the immersive Atmos effects of other bars, but when we explained this to DVLA, they confirmed an update is coming out that will increase loudness. So it's nice to know your investment will keep getting better and better. For anyone who simply wants to add a Dolby Atmos soundbar in a small to medium room, Dion is a statement piece that takes up as little space as possible. Its slim design was a perfect fit in our master bedroom, just sitting on a piece of furniture under a TV. It's also really cool. This integrates with DVLA's multi-room platform to completely cover your whole house with Phantom Smart Speakers. All right, that concludes our review on DVLA Dion. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and also check out our playlist section on our YouTube channel to easily find all of the content you're looking for. If you have any questions about Dion, give us a call, chat with one of our experts at audiovice.com or just stop into one of our award-winning showrooms and hear it for yourself. We'll be happy to help you out. We'll see you next time.